A year ago, Tesla's Optimus was widely seen as the clear frontrunner in the humanoid robotics race. Elon Musk's ambitions of producing millions of units and reshaping the labor market generated excitement from investors and tech enthusiasts. Few other companies had full-scale robotic humanoid prototypes that looked commercially viable, and none of them possessed Tesla's track record in artificial intelligence and manufacturing. Investors and the media assumed others would be playing catch-up for years. Fast forward to today, and that's not so clear. Companies like Boston Dynamics, Agility Robotics, Uptronic, Figure, and One X Technologies have gained traction as they move their AI-powered humanoids into real-world operations. And China has unleashed a slew of humanoid robots that are getting hard to ignore, as perceived leaders like Unitree Robotics, Engine AI, UB Tech, and Agibot move to mass produce their AI robots. Xpeng Motors, a rising Tesla competitor, is currently showcasing its next-generation humanoid robot at the Auto Shanghai 2025 exhibition. Elon Musk's deepening involvement in politics has significantly altered public perception of Tesla and its robotics ambitions. Once celebrated for innovation and environmental stewardship, Tesla now faces criticism and declining support from sizable segments of its traditional customer base. During Tesla's first quarter 2025 earnings call, Musk addressed the company's financial downturn and the impact of his political involvement on Tesla's brand and performance. I mean, this is a car company that is struggling on all metrics that we can evaluate from a fundamental basis at a time when the global EV market is surging. The manufacturer reported a 71% drop in income, a 9% decline in revenue, and a 13% decrease in vehicle deliveries. Acknowledging that his unofficial role with the Department of Government Efficiency has caused a turbulence, Musk said he intends to significantly reduce his time with Doge starting in May. But investors worry it might be too late to reverse course as Tesla's brand is no longer perceived as invincible. Tesla still expects to build thousands of Optimus humanoid robots by the end of 2025, but most of that production will occur later in the year. Um, you know, with respect to humanoid robots, uh, I, I don't think there's any company in any country that can match Tesla. I, I'm a little concerned that on the leaderboard, Ranks 2 through 10 will be Chinese companies. <laughs> <laughs> Musk said the Tesla bot faces a typical new product production ramp. When you have a new complex manufactured product, it'll move as fast as the slowest and least lucky component in the entire thing. And as a first order approximation, there's like 10,000 10, unique things. So, so that's why that's why does any, anyone who tells you they can predict uh, with precision the production ramp of the truly new product uh, is doesn't know what they're talking about. The production volume depends on how fast Tesla can solve bottlenecks, which has been made more challenging with the Trump administration's trade war with China. Musk had broken with the president on tariffs and the White House trade policy toward the People's Republic. He reportedly made personal appeals to Trump to reverse sweeping tariffs, highlighting the negative impact on Tesla and other manufacturers. He also bashed Trump's trade advisor, Peter Navarro, calling him a moron and questioning his qualifications. Tesla has acknowledged that evolving trade policies and rising tariffs are creating uncertainty and affecting its global supply chain. I've made my opinion clear to the president and, um, that, uh, you know, and, and other people made their opinion clear to the president. He's the, he listens, he talks to many people and he makes his decision. And, um, you know, I'm hopeful that the president will observe whether my predictions are more accurate than the predictions of others and perhaps weigh my advice um, differently in the future. We shall see. The trade war has also affected Optimus. The humanoid robot needs rare earth magnets from China to work properly. The magnets are used inside small electric motors within the Tesla bot's arms. They help make its arms strong but still lightweight and compact. 
The Chinese government enacted new rules for exporting the magnets in 2024 that require special licenses, especially for anything that might be used in the military. The policy has also hit US-based drone manufacturers which maintain limited inventories of the materials. Tesla ran into problems because Chinese officials were concerned that Optimus could become weaponized. So we're working through that with China. Hopefully we'll get a license to use the rare earth magnets. Um, China wants some assurances that these are not used for military purposes, which obviously they're not. They're just going into a humanoid robot. So it's not a weapon system. It's being developed for factories, homes, and other everyday uses. Delays and higher costs are possible if the rules slow down shipments or if Tesla has to source the magnets from somewhere else. Musk said Tesla plans to scale Optimus faster than any product in history, targeting 1 million units by 2030 or sooner. The company aims to build at least 5,000 of the robots by the end of the year, which will be put to work in Tesla's factories. Tesla plans to broaden their availability in 2026, with the automaker's employees getting first access. Uh, we expect to have um, thousands of, uh, of Optimus robots working in Tesla factories by the end of this year, getting us forward. And uh, we expect to scale Optimus up faster than any product, I think, in history to get to uh, millions of units per year as soon as possible. Musk predicts that the humanoid robot will be Tesla's most impactful and profitable product by far. Tesla is positioning Optimus as a general-purpose robot that can do everything from household chores to social companionship. Tesla first announced its humanoid robot concept during the company's 2021 AI Day event. A dancing imposter in a costume joined Musk on stage during the announcement. The first Optimus prototype emerged the following year and in 2023, the manufacturer unveiled a second generation iteration with a slimmer design, improved hands, and more human-like movements. Tesla is developing the next generation version which will be designed for high-rate manufacturing. Meanwhile in China, fellow EV maker Xpeng's humanoid robot named Iron is emerging as a potential top competitor to the Optimus. Xpeng is showcasing the robot's improved walking capabilities at Auto Shanghai 2025. Like the next generation Tesla bot, Iron has a reported 22 degrees of freedom in its hands, which nearly match the dexterity of human hands which typically have 27 degrees of freedom. At the show, the robot also demonstrated its conversational abilities powered by Xpeng's smart cockpit AI. Iron runs on Xpeng's proprietary Turing AI chip, a 40-core processor that can handle up to 30 billion parameters. The automaker is training the robots in its factory, where they help assemble EV components and autonomously navigate the production floor. The robot boasts 60 articulating joints, 200 degrees of freedom, and a 720-degree AI vision system adapted from the carmaker's self-driving technology. Like Tesla, Xpeng plans to begin mass production of iron in 2026, positioning it as a general-purpose robot for factories, offices, retail stores, and homes. Xpeng is reportedly considering investing nearly $14 billion into its humanoid robotics program over the next two decades. Xpeng formally ventured into robotics in 2020 when it acquired the Shenzhen startup dog Otix. The founder of that startup kickstarted Xpeng's humanoid robotics program before leaving to launch his own startup that recently had a high stakes encounter with popular streamer iShowSpeed. For more on that, check the related video.